Hey everybody, it's Lane back with another in the studio 31 days of Q&A's question. And I'm a little discombobulated because my camera wasn't working and then all of a sudden it was working and I wasn't ready for it to be working. But anyway, I'm looking great today. <laughs> I had a massage this morning. I'm looking a little scruffy. But you love me anyway, right? Okay, on to the question. Enough blathering. Jeannie L. says, I'm a relatively new scrapper and I realize that I always have more than four or five photos which I'd like to scrap. As such, I tend to go for photo collages instead of printing out four by six photos and trying to fit them, fit one, fit them in one 12 by 12 page. Sometimes I have more photos and I do two page layouts still using photo collages. However, I don't want the style of those two pages to look repetitive across the album. Do you have any suggestions on how I can get different looks? I do have some suggestions, Miss Jeannie L, but before I get started, let me tell you to email support at layoutaday.com. I'll put the address right there. And tell Kelly, my right-hand gal and super sweet scrapbooker, that you won for, uh, for submitting a question for day number nine. Today's the ninth. Um, so now, business stuff out of the way. So I have a couple suggestions. First of all, I would question the assumption that it's not okay for your pages to look the same across the album. In fact, a lot of people strive for cohesion through their album, and one way to create album cohesion is through repeating designs throughout the album, using different um, products and different photos, and maybe even going black and white photo, color photo, but using that same design, and that actually creates cohesion in an album. So I would just, first of all, ask yourself, does that really, really bother you? Because some people want that repetitive um, and uh, unity across the album. In fact, we've got questions about how to create unity in albums. And sticking with um, a single design is one way to do that. So that's my first question for you. Now, if, the, if you really feel like page after page is looking the same or you're getting bored scrapbooking page after page, I do have some suggestions. Just as you would uh, mix up a sketch, and you can use a sketch in many different manners, um, you can use a photo collage in many different manners. So let's say you have a, th a two by two photo collage, a square photo collage that's four two, um, photos, two across, two down. That's going to be a little bit tougher to, um, to rotate or use differently because it's the same because it's a square. But if you went to a two by three or a, a two on the top and three on the bottom, you could rotate that and use it in different manners, flip it. So you're mixing up how that, um, that is oriented on the page, but it's the same basic design. So turn it, flip it, think of it as a Rubik's Cube, turn it around, do something like that. Another thing you could do with it is once you've got that basic design down, let's say you've got the two by two, two photo, two photo, you could enlarge certain photos and make the other ones smaller. So maybe you use two square photos in the um, alternating corners like this, and then these are larger rectangle photos. So let me draw you a quick sketch, just because I just happen to have paper right here. So let's say you start with a, a two by two, photo collage like that, like a window, you could go to something like this. And those X's down there at the bottom. So you're taking this and creating this from it. Or you could turn them, um, orient, orient them differently so you go to this. So it's sideways using four by six photos um, horizontally. Something else you can try doing is spreading that single uh, collage across two pages. So you actually cut it down in, the, in down the middle and put it in different places on your page and play with it that way in the page placement. Someone who creates fantastic photo collages that you just plop into PSE, um, that's Photoshop Elements, and then add your photos to is Carrie Bradford. Carrie did one of our make and takes for True Scrap three and I am a total lurker on her site. I watch everything she does and she's got some great photo collages on um, the templates that then you can use in, in um, Photoshop Elements. And I'm going to link that below this video on the Layout A Day page on the Layout A Day blog so you can check it out and maybe just pick up a couple of those and play around with them. She has different sizes, um, photo strips, like a film strip, different things like that. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't 
necessarily tell you to move away from what you're comfortable doing because um, it seems like it's working for you in so many ways, getting more photos on the page. So just play with sizes, play with orientation on the page, and don't worry if it is a little bit repetitive, again, because that's something that a lot of people are striving for. Jeannie, I hope this has helped you, and for everyone who's listening, please submit your questions. We've got lots of time left in the month, and this has been so successful that I'm probably going to be carrying it over into future months, not every single day, but at least maybe once a week I'll record a video with some of your Q&As or add them to my podcast. So information right there. I'll tell you how to get a hold of me through Twitter or um, email. Submit your questions and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.